Fantasmic has returned. The holidays are here. More meet and greets are back and much, much more. We've got a lot to talk about today on DFE Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and this week was busy in terms of Disney Park news. We've got holiday decor, holiday treats, holiday merch, more restaurants have reopened, more meet and greets have returned, and Disney is testing early merch access on Disney+. Plus. Let's talk about it. All right, say goodbye to Halloween and hello to the holidays. Holiday decorations were up in Magic Kingdom bright and early on November 1st. The first decorations we saw were at the front entrance, where the 50th anniversary topiary display of Mickey and Minnie has been transformed with a festive theme. By the Main Street train station, there's a garland full of ornaments and bows covering the fence, and the big Mickey-shaped decoration in the garden is now red. Several buildings along Main Street USA are decked out with garlands and bows and wreaths, and the big Christmas tree wasn't out on November 1st but it is up now. Look how gorgeous she is. It's not quite Christmas in Magic Kingdom until the tree is up and we're happy the holiday season is officially here. And you know what makes it even better? Now the Dapper Dans have officially had their holiday makeover. They're in their holiday outfits, the red and white with the green accents. The Dapper Dans have fully embraced the season. All right, the day we have been waiting for is finally here. Fantasmic is officially back. It got started again this week at Hollywood Studios, and after getting rained out of the media event the night before, Fantasmic returned for park guests on November 3rd. We are so happy the show is back, but that's not the best part. There's a brand new hero scene that includes Pocahontas, Moana, Elsa, Mulan, and Aladdin. And y'all, the crowds showed up that night. The line started forming around 5 p.m. It was unbelievably crowded. And the show didn't even start until 8 p.m. Encanto fans will be happy to know that we saw Mirabelle and some of the new animation that is projected on the water. And we thought all the new additions to this show were great. We are so happy this very popular show is back in Hollywood Studios. And I'm really, really glad that they chose Into the Unknown for Elsa. Elsa to sing instead of let it go. I'm just saying. Now, three characters have returned to say hi to guests in Hollywood Studios. Very, very highly anticipated characters, by the way. Over in Toy Story Land, we saw Woody and Jesse meeting with guests again. And then we also saw Buzz Lightyear out meeting with guests, including this one little guy who was basically Buzz's twin. We also spoke to cast members to confirm that these meets are back permanently. You'll be able to meet Woody, Jesse, and Buzz every day now. There's also a PhotoPass photographer there to help you capture that perfect picture with the characters. You'll also find the times for the meet and greets on the My Disney Experience app. Now, did you know one of Magic Kingdom's most popular rides gets a fun holiday overlay every year? Yep, during the holiday season, the Jungle Cruise turns into the Jingle Cruise, and it's one of our favorite parts of the holiday season. The queue for the ride is littered with holiday-themed jokes and puns. There are decorations throughout all the theming elements, and we noticed everything from baubles to ornaments to plastic Santa heads, and the skippers were wearing their jolly Santa hats in khaki, of course. There were plenty of gift-wrapped presents scattered throughout the ride, and some were on the shore, some floating in the water. We noticed them in the gorilla scene and the rhino scene with the explorers. And of course, you can expect some holiday jokes, because it wouldn't be the Jingle Cruise without some punny Christmas humor. Now's your chance to check out this special holiday overlay of the Jingle Cruise, so if you're heading to Magic Kingdom soon, make sure you make this one a priority. Giant Christmas trees in the parks, holiday merchandise, and holiday ride overlays. That's what the season is made of in Disney World, right? Well, at select hotels, you're also going to find some incredible gingerbread displays. While the display at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort is one that many are familiar with and it's on its way up right now, the display over at Disney's Beach Club Resort is one you absolutely won't want to miss. Specifically within the lobby of Disney's Beach Club Resort, you'll typically find an astonishing gingerbread carousel. It is everything you want it to be, ginormous, incredibly detailed and themed, of course, to some iconic Disney characters. Last year, the carousel was themed to The Little Mermaid, and in 2019, it was Peter Pan. In 2014, we saw the horses themed to some of the Fab Five. This year, a bunch of the Disney princesses have taken center stage. You can see the horses themed to Snow White, Princess Tiana, Elsa, Jasmine, and Belle. Also part of this display is Santa's nice list. All the names helped create this incredible gingerbread display, which took over 600 hours of work. It's been under construction since July. Also, if you visit the gingerbread carousel, be sure to look for any potential samples that might be handed out. And remember, the carousel does actually spin. You'll also want to search nearby for the tasty treats that are typically offered for the holiday season, right next to the carousel, as well as at the market at AL & Compass, Beach Club Marketplace, 
place and the lobby of Disney's Beach Club. In the past, we've seen crinkle cookies, fudge, gingerbread cookies, of course, and more. And if you want to make a fun day out of visiting all the gingerbread houses around Disney, we made a blog post for you. The ultimate guide to all the gingerbread displays is already up on our website. I'll link it for you down below. And if you've got a Disney trip coming up, now is the perfect time to head over to merch.dfbstore.com to check out all of that awesome merchandise on our website. Did you hear my Western New York accent right there when I just said .com? That's my Western New York Buffalo accent. You're welcome. Now, we've got shirts for the whole family there, sweatshirts, even fun holiday mugs. If you don't want a shirt or a sweatshirt, you can support our channel by getting a cool mug. It's really cute. If you want to check it out, I've got the link in the description box below, but it is is merch.dfbstore.com.com. Disney has announced that guests will no longer be required to provide proof of a negative COVID-19 test prior to sailing beginning on November 14th, 2022, for all sailings departing from the United States. This applies to all guests regardless of vaccination status. As part of this change, Disney noted that anyone who booked sailings departing the U.S. between November 14th, 2022 and January 31st, 2023 may modify or cancel their sailing by November 13th, 2022 without any Disney-imposed cancellation fees. Normal cancellation fees will apply for any cancellations or modifications that happen after November 14th, 2022. Disney sending out emails to guests who booked sailings happening between November 14th and January 31st with this information. Note that Disney still highly recommends that all eligible guests be fully vaccinated and take COVID-19 tests no more than two days before their sailing, but these will no longer be requirements to board the Disney Cruise Line ships. Disney announced previously that guests sailing on the Disney Wonder, Disney Dream, Disney Fantasy, and Disney Wish would no longer be required to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 beginning on October 14th, 2022. The same change goes into effect for the Disney Magic on November 7th. Now, Disney's testing early merchandise access for Disney Plus subscribers. Previously, Disney had indicated they were working on a system that would link merchandise to the Disney Plus streaming service. This system would allow subscribers to buy merchandise themed to Disney Plus shows by scanning a code right on the streaming service. We've also shared some details about the Amazon Prime-like service being developed at Disney. That service could provide members with access to exclusive merchandise, events, and discounts while also linking their in-park experiences with taste tailored Disney Plus recommendations at home. So like you go on Pirates of the Caribbean in the park, then maybe you'll get served some Pirates of the Caribbean ads when you get back home. These systems are still a work in progress and Disney is still putting quote unquote arms and legs on their prime like service. But a big step has been taken forward in the general direction of these future services. Disney is now doing a limited test experience that gives Disney Plus subscribers exclusive early access to certain items on Shop Disney that are theme to Disney Plus movies or shows. Disney notes you can also visit the details pages of certain movies, series, and shorts on Disney Plus to scan QR codes that link you to those items. You can also look for a shop tab that'll only appear on Disney Plus primary profiles in the US that are verified as 18 plus. If you're a subscriber, you might want to pick out some of these quickly while they're still available through this limited time early access. Some items that were available through early access have already sold out. Guess the system's working. All right, we've got a new addition to minivans. So minivans, the iconic specialty cars run by Lyft, are now going to include an entertainment option that will keep the fun levels high even when you're stuck in traffic. Disney World just announced they are adding the Mickey Mouse animated shorts to minivans. These award-winning shorts feature Mickey, Minnie and plenty of their friends as they find themselves in all sorts of sticky situations and hilarious hijinks. Fold down screens inside the vans will have a variety of episodes available for you and your family to watch while you get excited to hit the parks or need something to watch as you wind down from a long day on your way back to your hotel. Disney stated they'll be rolling these out in the next few weeks, so the next time you visit Disney World and hop into one of those iconic polka dot vans, check with your cast member driver to see if you can enjoy this fun-filled series. All right, another character dining spot has finally reopened over in Epcot's Norway Pavilion, Akersus, which is what I've been told is how you pronounce it, not Akersus, which I did for a long time, not Akersus, or like Akershus, like house. That's, anyway, 
that's open again. There have been some changes to the menu, but it has reopened as a buffet and family style with Disney princesses once again coming to your table. If you want to know our full thoughts on this returning restaurant, head over to our website, DisneyFoodBlog.com. we got a full review for you. Buffets are back at Tusker House Restaurant in Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is a character dining spot in the Africa section of the park where you can see Donald Duck and his friends decked out in safari gear. While the food is back to buffet service, we were provided some bread, rolls and zebra bread, and a dip at the table. This was brought to us right after the cast member took our drink order. This is a character dining meal, so throughout the meal, Mickey and Donald and Goofy and Daisy will come say hi in their safari best. Their outfits alone are a big reason why this restaurant is so popular. You don't get to see them in these outfits very often. The food at this all you care to enjoy buffet is flavorful and interesting with entrees inspired by African cuisine, but they still have some items to satisfy those pickier eaters like an awesome mac and cheese and of course mashed potatoes. For our full review, head to our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. Not only has Disney said it is officially the holiday season, but Starbucks has brought back their holiday drinks and they are available in Disney World. Starbucks menu displayed three of their holiday menu items, including the iced sugar cookie almond milk latte, the peppermint mocha frappuccino, and the caramel brulee latte. Note that you can also order many other holiday drinks too, like the peppermint mocha latte and the chestnut praline latte and more. And we just had to get some of the classic holiday drinks, including the peppermint mocha frappuccino. It comes with blended frappuccino roast coffee, mocha sauce, peppermint flavored syrup, milk, and ice. And it's topped with whipped cream and dark chocolate curls for $5.99 for a grande size. This drink was very sweet, heavy on the chocolatey mocha flavor with a subtle amount of peppermint. You know the peppermint's there, but it's not overwhelming, which is good for people who like just a little bit of that flavor. Overall, it was very Christmassy. We also tried the iced sugar cookie almond milk latte, which is made with sugar cookie flavored syrup combined with Starbucks blonde espresso and almond milk over ice for $6.29. And that's for that grande size as well. It's also topped with red and green sprinkles. We thought this was super tasty, might be too sweet for some, but it was just right for us. And it was serving strong Christmas vibes without any peppermint. Kona Cafe is reopened as of October 30th at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. One of the staple dining options finally reopened. Kona Cafe closed back in August for renovations to the restaurant and menu. We previously got a sneak peek at some of the changes made to the restaurant, and although it was set to reopen on November 1st, it opened early. Remember we talked about those soft openings, right? Here's what it looked like before the changes. And here's what Kona Cafe looks like now. The entrance is completely different and the fencing around the area has changed. You'll also notice there are entirely new lighting fixtures. The restaurant even got new menus. Don't worry, the favorites are still there, including that Tonga toast we all know and love, along with other breakfast items and beverages. They've also added a spice rubbed salmon plate, a ham and cheese omelet, and French toast. Lunch also hasn't changed much. You can still get sushi, poke bowls, burgers, and other entrees. We noticed the crispy cheddar burger is no longer on the menu, but the big kahuna burger has taken its spot. The dinner menu also features a variety of appetizers, sushi rolls, and other items. There are a few changes to the entrees with the addition of sauteed red quinoa and verlasso salmon. If you want to see our full review of Kona Cafe, head to our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. All right, he's here. The Mr. Toad popcorn bucket has finally arrived in Magic Kingdom. The bucket features Mr. Toad sitting in his iconic toady vehicle, and the details on this bucket are impeccable. It reminds us of the buckets that are released in Tokyo Disneyland, which we are so here for. The popcorn bucket costs 30 bucks, and if you purchase the bucket at Big Top Treats, you will get access to an exclusive Mr. Toad dome cake. The back of the car opens up to hold the popcorn. We got rainbow popcorn with ours, and now we have to talk about lines here. When we went to pick up our Mr. Toad popcorn bucket at Big Top Treats, there were several cast members there to double check that each guest had confirmed their mobile order for the bucket. And surprisingly, we didn't have to wait long to get ours. We've seen some long lines for these kinds of specialty souvenirs. Remember that figment popcorn bucket with six hour lines? Now, although the lines looked long, we only waited about five minutes as cast members were moving guests through very quickly. Want more Mr. Toad? You can also find this magic shot in Magic Kingdom for a limited time. The pumpkin spice Mickey beignets have returned to Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. This year, you can find them at Scat Cats Club Cafe for $7.49 for three or six for $10.99. These beignets are your classic Mickey beignets, but they're dusted with both powdered sugar and pumpkin spice. Note that the pumpkin spice flavor was very 
low key. We actually got more spice than pumpkin. And if we didn't know about the pumpkin, we might not even have realized it's supposed to have that flavor too. But the spice was the perfect addition to the beignet and it added more flavor to the pastry. And our reporter actually enjoyed these more than the classic beignets. They were very fluffy. We're talking warm and fluffy, AKA absolute perfection. They weren't overwhelmingly sweet either. And if you like your pumpkin flavors on the subtle side, you're gonna like these. The pumpkin spice beignets will be available through November 27th, so you've got some time to get yours. Disney also released a lot of fun fall-themed treats this week. The first treat can be found at all three of Disney's all-star resorts, introducing the Gobble Wobble Bunt Cake, and with a name like that, we had to try it. The Gobble Wobble is a cinnamon apple bunt cake with caramel buttercream on top and a buttercream turkey decoration. You can get this little guy for $5.99. Next, over at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, you can find a pumpkin spice roll. This is a pumpkin spice sponge cake rolled with honey-scented cream cheese, powdered sugar, and dark chocolate. This is available over at Gasparilla Island Grill, and we loved it. The pumpkin flavor is subtle, but you can definitely taste it. It's the right amount of pumpkin spice to be notable, but not overwhelming. You can grab this one for $5.29. If you find yourself at Sasagula Float Works and Food Factory at Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter, you may spot the Praline Pecan Cake. This one is a pecan cake topped with praline icing, garnished with spiced candied pecans for $5.99. This would be a great treat for pecan fans or those looking for a fall treat that isn't pumpkin flavored. And finally, we've got the Pumpkin Pie Shake at Beaches and Cream at Disney's Beach Club Resort. This is a salted caramel shake with caramel drizzle, sprinkles, and a whole slice of pumpkin pie on top. Yep, you read that right. An entire slice of pie on top of a milkshake. The pumpkin pie itself is delicious. It's very creamy and has a nice amount of pumpkin spice, making it the ideal version. The whipped cream on top is a nice addition as well. The only fault to some may be that it's too sweet. This thing is very sweet, but we thought it was pretty balanced for anyone who normally likes sweet desserts. This over-the-top treat is going to cost you $15. Now, all of these will be available until November 27th as well. For more reviews of all the latest Disney snacks, you can check out our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. We eat it all and it's all up there. Moving on to the Cherry Dole Whip, there is a new Dole option in Disney World. The Cherry Blossom Swirl is from Backstretch Pool Bar at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort. This one's available from now until November 30th. The Cherry Blossom Swirl is Dole Whip cherries swirled with vanilla soft serve. And we need to talk about soft serve ice cream in Florida. It melts real fast. And in this treat, the vanilla soft serve melted more quickly than the cherry swirl, leaving one half more soupy than the other. Our best suggestion for dealing with this is to order that cherry blossom swirl in a cup rather than a cone. It'll be a lot less messy to eat and you won't lose any of your treat. The cherry Dole Whip flavor was tart and tangy, and while some cherry flavors can remind us of cough syrup, this one did not. The vanilla soft serve was sweet and creamy, and we did enjoy the combo of these two with that tart and sweet. The treat is priced at $5.99, at least according to the sign, but we were actually charged $5.29 when we tried it. And is it worth going out of your way to visit Saratoga Springs for the cherry blossom swirl? Well, if you're a diehard Dole Whip fan who wants to try all the flavors, then yes. If you aren't a fan of cherry flavored things, then you don't really care much about Dole Whip then this is an obvious pass for you. It's a new month, which means we have new Gideon's treats. This month's cookie is the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie for six bucks. It's made with Gideon's house pumpkin spice blend, a little bit of chocolate and pumpkin butter crumbs, which I don't even know what that is, but that sounds great. If you love pumpkin like we do, this cookie is a must. It's very tasty and the sweet crumbles on the outside made this cookie. The chocolate pumpkin bread on the inside of the cookie is quite nice and a little bit unexpected. This one's real sweet, so keep that in mind. A sweet tooth is required to properly enjoy it. I don't know about you, but I usually have to have my Gideon's cookies just a little bit at a time. I have like a quarter of it at a time and then it goes back in the freezer. Gideon's recommends pairing this one with the nitro cold brew or the French toast cold brew, which is a limited time flavor. It's going to be sticking around through Thanksgiving. We also got a chance to try a limited edition cake slice, the pumpkin chocolate chip cake slice for nine bucks. It's pretty much the same. It's like the cookie in cake form. It has three layers of vanilla cake with chocolate chips surrounded by a pumpkin spice cream cheese buttercream and those same delicious butter crumbs are on the outside. This cake also tastes like fall and it's another must for pumpkin lovers. Like the cookie though, it's very sweet. Although there's a good ratio of frosting to cake, it's a lot, so you can share it. Disney Munchlings are those new treat themed plushes, the mix between like a Squishmallow and a Wishable. People have been buying them like crazy. Many favorite characters have since been transformed into sweet treats, but one notable character has been missing. We're talking about Donald Duck and we were invited to stop by World of Disney and Disney Springs for a very special announcement, including the release of both the first Donald Duck Munchling plush 
and the Donald Duck Munchling Cake. Now, Emirates patisserie chef Stefan Reamer, who was also like large and in charge over at the Flavor Lab too, created the Donald Duck Munchling Cake, which is made with vanilla chiffon cake, Japanese sponge roll, yuzu curd, yuzu chantilly, caramel ganache, blueberry jam, and jalapeno gel drizzled on Donald's hat. He explained that the jalapeno gel connects with Donald's spicy personality and attitude. We got to try this adorable treat and thought the vanilla chiffon cake was soft and moist and the blueberry jam on top plus the whole blueberries paired well and added some nice texture but stayed light. We expected some heat from the jalapeno gel but didn't get as much spice so it was pretty mild. If you enjoy cupcakes or are a fan of lemon and blueberry you might want to give this one a try. Keep in mind though that at 14 bucks it's definitely on the pricier side of the Disney desserts. Stop by Amaret's Patisserie if it sounds worth it to you. But if you're more interested in a Donald Duck Munchling plush, you can pick one up at World of Disney Now, which is right next to Amaret's. This new Munchling is limited edition, so you may want to go ahead and grab him at Disney Springs ASAP. But that also lets us know they're going to bring out those limited edition Munchlings, right? So if you have an addiction to these little ones, keep your eyes open for more. Okay, holiday merchandise has arrived. If the big Christmas tree in Magic Kingdom wasn't enough to tell you it's officially the holiday season in Disney World, all the new holiday merchandise should give you the hint. New ears, new tumblers, new shirts and sweaters, ornaments, home decor, everything. I won't list everything in this video, but something I do need to point out is the two new holiday ears. First, let's take a look at the absolutely gorgeous bauble bar holiday ears. These were made of a cream colored fabric and are covered in all kinds of little jewels and pearls, making them sparkle. In the center is a sparkly red bow with a beautiful decoration featuring holly leaves and little pearls as the berries in the center. These are priced at $49.99, but I'm not going to lie. Our set of ears looked a little weird, like the ears were too far down on the headband and they were kind of a strange shape. I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comments, but these looked a little off to us. Next up, you've got some holiday ears with a snow globe effect. On one side, you'll find Minnie in her very best holiday outfit, surrounded by trees and snow. On the other ear, Mickey's dressed in his holiday vintage best with more trees and snow. I absolutely love these ears. They're filled with snow and some of the little snow moves around, making them interactive and a little more unique. These are priced at $34.99. And if you wanna see everything, then check out the link in our description of all the merchandise you can find in Disney World right now for the holidays. All right, we found multiple new holiday themed Starbucks tumblers in Disney World this week. First at Emporium and Magic Kingdom, the new Starbucks tumbler features Christmas colors in an ombre pattern. The studded tumbler comes with a twist on lid and reusable straw with the Starbucks mermaid on one side and Mickey Mouse on the other. This Christmas Starbucks tumbler is priced at $49.99. We also found some Starbucks holiday items over at Creature Comforts in Animal Kingdom. You can also find them at Main Street Bakery in Magic Kingdom. First up is this green Mickey Mouse Santa tumbler. It features Mickey in a Santa hat and sweater for $29.99. Next, we found this white Mickey Santa bottle that shows Mickey wearing Santa hats all around it. Also says Walt Disney World on the side. You can get this one for $29.99 as well. Finally, we also found this little Mickey Santa mug ornament. The other side has the Starbucks logo. I hope they release these as actual mugs. They're so cute. You can get this one for $17.99. And whatever you love, there's probably a spirit jersey for it. Love Hocus Pocus? There's a spirit jersey. Love Mickey Bars? Spirit jersey for that too. Now you get a spirit jersey for your favorite beverage. If you are a big fan of Club Cool and Epcot, we found the jersey for you. We were just checking out Club Cool and Epcot and came across a Coca-Cola spirit jersey. It's black with large red letters on the back that make up the Coca-Cola logo. Also has the slogan, you can't beat the feeling, as well as other languages. And that brings us to the end of the news for this week. If you want even more news, be sure to sign up for that DFB newsletter. The link is right down there in the description. It's totally free. And we send out newsletters to make sure you stay up to date on all things Disney World news. Again, the link to sign up is right in the description box below. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thanks for watching. As always, I'm AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.